Hey guys, Pastor Brandon here with Everyday Pastor. I'm here with Jason Fowler, musician, songwriter, voice vocalist, awesome guy. <laughs> A little bit of everything. <laughs> A little bit of everything. Man, we just finished up a concert with him and JJ Weeks band, Tori Harper. It was awesome, man. Such a good, good time worshiping God together. And you were talking a little bit before and even during your, your show there, um, just about how you met Jesus. And I was wondering, could you just share with us your story a little bit? Absolutely. Thank you, Pastor Brandon. Yeah. I, um, I grew up in a Christian home. I grew up in a, in a place to where, you know, I had a loving family and, uh, my uh, my dad had struggled though a little bit with alcohol, and you know his dad had it. In, it was in our family, yeah. and uh, I remember seeing my dad, great guy and everything like that, kind of struggling. Um, he would do things that he normally wouldn't do, and it started taking over his life. And he went mm. basically in a couple of rehabs and everything. And I remember telling myself, "I'm never going to do that," you know. Yeah. But it only took uh, one decision of me going. Um, out with a friend of mine and he asked me it, I was in middle school around 15 years old and he asked me um, do you want to go and hang out with me and my older brother and we're going to basically go out and drink and all I heard with it was do you want to be cool that's all I heard in my head was do you want to be cool and uh, you know we want to fit in especially this day and age with Instagram Facebook how many likes you have and everything right. and so um, at that point I took a drink I got sick and in trouble the very first time but I, I remember telling myself I'm going to probably do that again because it killed the fear in my life and the fear in my life was basically um, anxiety and different things that uh, you know all of us go through yeah. but what, the way that God's designed it is to have faith in Him you know yeah. and we tend to search for things that are going to make us feel good in life you know and ultimately what really makes us feel great is having Jesus in our heart right. but for me I, I remember I started playing guitar right around that time and I remember uh, developing a thing called performance based acceptance and what that is is I thought if I got um if I did better in school or if I did better in sports, then I was going to get more love yeah. because my dad would say, hey, you know, great job, you know, and everything, anytime that we did really good, I really excelled in sports yeah. and went to the Olympic Training Center for speed skating. And I remember yeah. coming home and my dad had the whole thing lined up, welcome home champions. Wow. So here's a great guy inside and everything yeah. like that, but struggling through things. And I, at that time, um, I moved from alcohol into drugs and, and and my dad, I remember he got sober, and mm. uh, he came to a place where he he found God and asked God in his heart. He's been sober 25 years today, wow. which is amazing. But for me, I was telling myself, no, it's never going to happen to me, never going to happen to me. I thought that in rock and roll, that's what you normally do is, is yeah. drink or, or you know do drugs, do these different things that uh, basically will change the way that you feel. And for me, I ended up... Um, getting actually kicked out of one of the rock and roll bands that I was in. Oh, wow. How do you do that? I mean, you get kicked out of a rock and roll band for for drinking. It must be pretty serious. It must but be, absolutely. Got out, uh, started a couple of different bands, and, and I remember uh, getting a record deal. I, I was like, wow, you know, this is everything I've looked for. I thought that if I got this record deal that I was going to be rich and famous and have a lot of money and, and everything was going to fill me up inside, you know, from the world, but... Nothing in the world can fill you up like Jesus, you yeah, know. And, absolutely. And God had his different plans. We spent two and a half months in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, recording an album. And um, I remember we finished it, but I was so broken inside. My family was falling apart and everything. It's just I felt lost in the middle of a crowd. So, uh, like I said, God had a different plan. The record label was bought by another record label, and the wow. album never came out. So everything I put wow. my hope and trust in was gone. Yeah. And we do that with so many different things. We do it with relationships. If I get that one person in my life, oh, everything's going to be okay. If I get that one job, everything's going to be okay. Yeah. And uh, after that, band broke up. My family's breaking up. I was breaking up, and I was searching to find that love. But God never left me. I remember um, I ended up homeless wow. in Atlanta, Georgia. And That's a big thing. It's crazy because I was lost. Yeah. Mentally, spiritually, and physically, I was literally lost. And I remember getting kicked out of a drug dealer's house in Atlanta, Georgia. Man. And I said, God, Jesus, I need you. And I meant it with everything that I had. And 
And uh, next thing I know, I'm in a Christ-based recovery center called The Healing Place. I stayed there for 18 months. I read it, like dedicated my life, gave my heart to Jesus. I said, whatever you want me to do. And uh, it's like a country song backwards. I started getting <laughs> things back in my life. Yeah. But uh, I finally found the love that I was always looking for and uh, that all of us are made to worship. You know, we're, we're going to worship something. We're made to worship. Yeah. And we're going to worship something. We're made to actually worship, worship Jesus, worship God. But we put so many things in our hearts instead of Him. You know, but Ma- uh, Matthew 6.33 says, Seek first the kingdom of God. Yeah. And um, when I started doing that, it's amazing how my life literally changed. I'm a new creation. I'm a new, I'm a miracle. And I remember joining a church, starting leading worship, um, uh, Next thing I know, I'm writing a record about what God had done in my life. And wow. now I'm working on my third one, and he's put me on bigger stages than I could ever have been on. Man. And it's just because I said, okay, God, what do you want me to do? And he's given you a gift. He's given me a gift. He's given a lot of us, all of us, actually. He's given us a right. gift. Yeah. And what we do with it is our gift back to him. And yeah. see, the, the thing is, is, is your gift is designed to work to praise God, mm-hmm. and my gift is to praise God right. and also to help others. And He yeah. gave us all different gifts so that we can work together and do right. great things through Him. Absolutely. So I'm just grateful to be here, Brandon, and thank you for letting me share a little bit of my story. Yeah, man. Hey, thanks for sitting down and Absolutely. talking with us. Hey, if you're listening today and you might be, um, you know, sympathizing a little bit with maybe what Jason has gone through in his life, and I want you to know that there is still love, there is grace, there is hope there is. in Jesus Christ. And you can start Amen. fresh, you can start new, and use the gifts that God has given you as a new creation, as a new person, to serve Him and to serve others. Man, Jason, thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you, it. and uh, I'll tell you right now, God bless. If you are hurting, if you're lost, like Pastor Brandon said, you know, go and talk to somebody, because uh, your life can literally be transformed by Jesus. My life was, your life can be too. Amen. Amen. And hey, thanks for watching. We will see you guys next time.